everybody welcome today we are going to learn about xml editor pro as name suggests it is a xml editor but it is not just a ordinary xml editor it has a really powerful tool which is called manual manager and that we can inject code to our sketcher apps just select a project it has six options java ui ux add new auto fancy copy view and my favorite tool editor studio and build manifest and editor studio just click it start then go to your package compile it it will start capturing once it captured code you can edit your code add services broadcast receivers and anything you want you can add custom imports custom permissions after editing the code click this button here and then proceed go back to your project compile it you may face problems but uh, try to compile it again if it shows a toast here successfully installed that means your code is injected successfully for another example we have a new project here completely empty this is the code that we have just captured it is useless for me so i want to delete it you can solely capture manifest only if you don't want to edit complete code and don't want to take risk first you have to select manifest from here and then press locate if you haven't compiled your project project even once it will give you an error then go to sketcher and compile your project once our project was compiling in background so it want to install press back button then once again press locate compile project again it will capture it we want to add few permissions just for demonstration add web view load url empty block in our source code if you navigate to manifest you can see there are two permissions compile it as here it also has two permissions now let's delete previous cap previously captured code and capture a new code new manifest i want to add a new permission add it save manifest file for later use start replicating replicating go back to sketcher compile your app if you face errors too many times close the sketcher and reopen it recompile it now we have three permissions here if we cancel replicating and then compile it again we have two permissions that way you can release different variations of your app